Hello everybody. In this review we're looking at another WSI limited edition and it's a Scania Highline R500 with a flatbed extending trailer. This truck is in the colours of Pierre Brem, which is a French haulage company. As you can see there's nothing special about the packaging, it's a standard WSI box and in addition to the model there's a small bag of parts. <laughs> So as far as assembly goes there's only one thing to do and that's to hook up the tractor and the trailer. And that's a very easy thing to do, even I can do it. The kingpin goes into the fifth wheel with a satisfying click. And it's good to see when the trailer is fixed to the Scania all of the rear wheels are grounded. Starting underneath the Scania the chassis is very detailed and it's mostly modelled in metal. And the tyres have got decent tread patterns. The wheels are nicely finished but the best part of the model is the very sharp graphics. This particular colour scheme certainly makes the model look very attractive and it's also got a realistic number plate. Behind the cab there are coiled lines and detailed diamond plated surfaces. The trailer seems to be a Denison extendable trailer and it's very detailed underneath with the suspension modelled really well. At the back the lights and graphics are good including speed limit signs and the deck detailing has a yellow warning stripe and the plastic replica timbers have bolt positions. One very nice touch is this tiny warning graphic. At great expense we find ourselves on the Cranes etc auto route and the Scania is not completely free rolling because of a bit of friction in the wheels. The rear axle spins well enough and at the front the axle has limited steering. That means you can't really pose the model as if it's turning sharply. And if you want to drive it around a corner, well it's going to swing out wide. The other feature which works much better is the tilting cab because it stays tilted and underneath there's a reasonably detailed plastic engine. Moving on to the trailer and it's a good model. With the landing legs down it's nice and stable when not connected to a tractor and there's no problem with the wheels spinning freely. A nicely implemented bit of model engineering is the suspension on each axle and it works well with a good range of movement. If we now screw up the landing legs then there's a decent amount of ground clearance. Another optional feature on the trailer if you want it is to add the deck posts. These are metal and push in place and on the review model at least they were a very good fit. However the best feature of this trailer is that it's extendable and if you want you can open it up to an impressive length. But I hear you shouting how long is it? Well there's no need to shout, in fact it's about 19 inches or 49 centimeters. Time for the genuine imitation real life tests. And for these we'll just try loading the trailer with some interesting loads to see how they look. Firstly we'll try a load of massive steel beams which go onto the fully extended trailer. And after the first two are down we'll add some massive timbers known as matchsticks and that allows us to load up with a second layer of long steel beams. That's all fine but what other super realistic loads can we have? Well how about a pack of giant edible dates? Or if you're really into heavy haulage how about a giant plastic pig full of money? You've got to admit that looks pretty damn cool. WSI has a strong reputation for truck models and this one lives up to it. This particular limited edition model is nicely implemented and it certainly looks smart. And the extending trailer gives it some functionality which makes it interesting on the display shelf. Overall it's a very easy model to highly recommend. Mm -hmm. 